Okay, so I'm hoping that you have already printed out this um, dates for ifs um, class, just so you can see what the code is in here. Um, the code here is written so that you can understand ifs and switches and is not particularly beautiful um, as a date class, so I call it dates for ifs. Um, but you can see we've got a um, our um, uh, fields. We have a month that's an integer, and we're going to use one to represent January, two to represent February, and so on. And then we have the day, you know, which will be the number, right? So, so like February. Um, well, here you go. In my constructor, January third. When I set the date to January third, um, month gets one and day gets three. So that should be pretty obvious here. Okay. So let's just take a look at a couple of um, uh, different examples of ifs and how I use them in here. Um, I have a set month method that takes a month number, right? And, and really you should have this code in front of you so you can refer to the names of the parameters and stuff as you go on. But anyway, here's my set month. It takes a month number as a parameter. And the idea is that, um, uh, as long as the month number is between 1 and 12, we'll reset the day to 1 and we will set the month to whatever month number gets passed in here. So this is just an example of an if without an else, right? So we have if and then we have stuff in parentheses. In this case, um, we're using an and between them. So we need to check both that the month number is greater than or equal to 1 and also that it's less than or equal to 12. In other words, it's between 1 and 12 inclusive. And if it is, then we reset the month in the object and we set the day to be one. Okay, so um, now let's take a look at this um, set day method. It uses this, this um, a different approach um, to ifs and else's than we've seen before. I'm gonna call this an if, else if, else if pattern. Um, in fact, uh, if you look at the logic behind it, it's nothing new, but, um, but let's just pretend it is something new because it's a useful way to do things if you line it up and, and um, think about it this way. So the way this pattern works is you keep doing things until you find one that you match, and then, sorry, you, you keep checking until you find one that you match, and once you find one that you match, you go in and you do that part, and then you skip all the way forward to the end. So, for example, um, let's suppose that I say, um, I don't remember what's my date right now. So right now, um, my month is eight and my day is one. So August has 31 days. Um, so let's suppose I try to set the date, sorry, the day, let's set the date the day to, well, 55, all right? Um, and it says it returns false, so let's see what happens here. Um, I said, if day number is less than one. Well, it's not, so I skip this code and I keep going. Else if day number is less than or equal to 28. Well, it's not, so I skip this stuff and keep going. Else if month equals equals two. Well, it's not, so I skip this piece and keep going. Else if, boy, here's a bunch of things. Month is equal to four or six or nine or 11. Well, it's not, so I'm gonna skip all of this. And it says, else if day number is less than or equal to 31. Well, it's not, so I skip this. And I end up with this line here, else. And if it says else, that means everybody else. So I go in here and I set my answer to false, and then it says return answer, so I return false just like it, it said we did. Um, let's try a different one. Let's, um, let's go back and change the month. So here's set month. So let me right click, and we're gonna set month. Where are you, set month? Set month, and let's make it February, right? Do, okay. And just check, yep, so we have February 1st. And so let's see what happens if I were to set the day to 26. Well, it would say, is it less than one? No, so skip this. Is it less than 28? Yes, so set the day, set answer to be true, and then we're gonna skip all the rest of this else if, else if, else if, else if, else if, else stuff, right? All the way through the else, 
and return answer. So in that case, we would um, return true. What I'm going to do to make this easier for you when you're tracing it is I'm just going to stick some, some print lens in here. So I'm going to do a system.out.println and let's say, um, I don't know, I'll just print uh, one, 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 one here. And I'm going to do the same thing in different places in this if so that you can see what gets printed, but instead of printing one, 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 I'm going to print two, 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 and in here, I will print three, 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 and in here, I'm going to print four, 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 four here. There's also an if inside of this else if. This guy is totally separate because it's inside of those braces, so I'm going to type I, oops, some out print line, and let's make it five, 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 five. And inside this else, we will print six, 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 six. So this is what the code you get should look like. And here we are. Oops, why did that not line up? So there's like eight different paths in here. So let me recompile. So the first time we did this, um, we ended up in this else, right? Because I made the um, the month or the day number so big. So let's just make a new dates for ifs. Okay. And if we look at it right now, it's January 3rd, right? And if I run the set day and I make that 72, as I showed you before, it says, is 72 less than one? Nope, skip skip this stuff. Go down, 72 less than 28? Nope, skip this stuff. Is the month two right now? No, if you look, um, if I cancel this for a minute, if you look, the month is one. Um, so I skip all this. Else if, is the month four or six or nine or 11, right? September, April, June, and November, the 30-day months. Um, it's not, so we skip everything in this piece, which has an if-else in it, but we're just skipping between the brackets, right? Else if day number is less than or equal to 31, well, it's not. Else, so we expected to print this 8888 and then return false, so let's try it. If I run set day and I make it some big number, 84, it prints 8888 like we thought, and it returns false. Good. All right, let's try another one. Let's try and set the month to be February now. Um, now, let's see. Right now, the day... Oh, sorry, we're not setting the month. We're setting the, the, um, the day. Let's try setting the month to 2, so it's February. Um, so let me right-click and set month. Come on, where are you? Set the month to 2. And now I'm going to um, check. Yep, my month is two, my day is one. I want to try and change the day. And this time I'm going to set the day to be, well, let's make it 30. And let's just see what happens. We know there's no February 30th, right? So is the day number going to be less than one? Nope, so we skip this. Is day number less than 28? Nope, so we skip this. Oh, is month equal to two? Yes. So we expect it to print 33333, three, 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 right? And answer gets false. And then we expect to skip all of this stuff all the way down to the bottom of the else and return false. So we're expecting a 3333 three, 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 and then print false. Look at that. I'm oh, sorry, return false, 333, three, 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 return false. Good. All right, let's try another case. Let's let's leave the month at February, all right? It's February. Um, but instead, let's um, let's actually um, set the number, the date to um, the fifth. So I right click and I say set day, and I want to set it to the fifth. So let's see, we have day number less than one. No, so we skip that. 
day number less than or equal to 28? Yep, so it's going to be 222. Day gets day number, and it should return true. Look at that. Looks good. Okay, I just want to show you what goes on in here. This is, um, let me change my month again. So I'm going to run set month and set it to 6. Okay, and let's just double check. So now the month is six and the day is one, because if you remember when we set month up high, it always just resets the day to one. So there's no problem with ending up with February 30th or something. So now our month is six, which is June, and June has 30 days. So let's try and set it to the 30th, and then we'll try and set it to the 31st. So when we set the month, set the day to 30, it should work, and if you look at my code, what happens? Is day number less than one? Nope. Is it less than or equal to 28? Nope. Is month equal to two? Nope. Because month was six, right? Else, if month equals four or six or nine or 11, I think that is, right? Then what do we do? We go in here and we're gonna print the four, 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 four. And then we got to check whether day number is less than or equal to 30. Well, yes, it's going to be this time. So it'll print 55555, five, 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 set answer to true, skip this else, right? Because here we just have a little if else. So it skips the else. It gets to this point and it says, all right, I have, I've done my part of this pattern. So now I'm going to skip all the rest of this stuff and it should return true. So let's try it. We got the fours, we got the fives, and then it print, it returns true. So let's just see what happens if we try and set the um, date to be the 31st of June, right? Because we have June in here, right? Yep, six. Um, then we would skip this one, skip this one, skip this one. Ah, but the month is six, so we go in here. We would print the fours, but our day number now is not going to be less than or equal to 30, so we're going to skip to this else and print the sixes. Answer will get false, and then we'll continue on here. So if we run set day and we make it 31, like we said, we get the fours, we get the sixes, and it returns false. Okay. So let's just look at um, the last thing I wanted to show you in a little bit more detail, which is the switch statement. And the switch statement, if, if you try to do an auto layout on this, it looks really ugly. This is sort of a standard um, layout that a lot of people use for switches to have these words cases um, uh, indented a little bit from your brace and then the lines under that to be indented more. Now, switch is this weird, weird, weird layout. Um, we don't have open and close curlies. So we don't have an open curly, and then sort of instead of a closed curly, we have break. And with case, now you can't have things in the parentheses that are um, Boolean expressions, like if day number is less than one. Instead, what you say is, I'm going to switch on the month. I'm going to change depending, go to decide where I'm going based on which month it is. If the month is one, that's case one, then I will go into here. But if the month is case two, or if the month is two, I'll go, I'll start here. If the month is three, I'll start here. If the month is four, I'll start here. And the rules for a switch are that you find, you go through and you see if any of these guys match whatever you have in here, so month in this case. And once you find one, you start executing lines of code until you see the word break. And when you see the break, you leave the switch entirely. So in this particular case, um, if my month is six, then it's going to switch on month. So it'll say one, nope, two, nope, three, nope, four, nope, five, six. It should print June and then it should skip till the end here. Right. And in fact, we could add another line of code here that just says system dot out dot print one done the switch just so you can see what's going on here all right so let me recompile and of course i need to make a new object and let's set the month to be seven and so we're expecting it's going to print july 
So let's run this and let's write print month name and look, it says July, done switch, right? Okay. So this basic case of switch is pretty easy as long as you remember all your breaks, but switch gets weirder when you, um, when you don't have some breaks in there. So you need to think of the case lines as something, it's kind of almost like a comment that gets ignored once you've seen one that matches. So let's suppose, um, right now, what have I got? Come on. Um, oops, sorry, I'm clicking the wrong thing. Right now the month is seven, right? So in here, it looks and it says, do I have a 12? No, one, no, two, no, three, four, five, six, oh, seven. As soon as it sees a case that matches, it ignores any other case lines and does everything it tells it to do. So here it will print summer, then we get to a break, and so now it jumps out, okay? So if we run this one, it should just, right now, if we run um, print season, it should just print summer. That's good. The weird thing is, let's set, the, let's set our month to four so you can see what happens in here. So if I set my month to four, we just double check. Yep, so now it's April 1st. Um, it's going to skip that one, that one, that one, that one. Oh, here's four. It's going to print uh, April showers, but there's no break. It's going to ignore this. It's going to print Mayflowers, but there's no break. So then it's going to print spring, and then we'll have the break so it will skip this stuff. So let's just try it. Uh, print season. Bingo. I, April showers, May flower, spring. Because there was no break after that, it just kept going until it got to there. Right? So that is switch.